So this video is on adding integers, and I'm primarily going to be using chips, integer chips, to demonstrate how this works. So there are two different ways to model combining integers. One way is to use integer chips, which I'm going to do in this video. The second way is to use a number line, and I have some videos on YouTube that have to do with the number line. Um, today, we will learn how to model with integer chips. So these are the integer chips. They consist of red, which are negative circles, and yellow, which are positive circles. So these are a big plus, and these are a minus. So if I'm going to model two plus four, well, those are both understood to be positive, even though there's no sign. So I'm going to grab one, two, and then I'm going to show four more. And that's a total of six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So my answer is six. And we all know that. We, we did this in kindergarten. But um, it's important to start looking at with the models what it looks like. So now negative 2 plus negative 4, I've, I'm going to show two negatives in the red and then four more negatives. Now if you're doing this on your paper, you may not be able to use um, red and yellow, but you can use the signs negative, 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 and a circle to show that that is a negative. So negative two and negative four combines together and gives me negative six. So you can see that those go together. A red chip and a yellow chip equal what's called a zero pair. So the red is a negative, and the yellow is a positive, and together they equal zero, because they're opposites. So if you have one, negative one, they come together, they're zero. You must circle all zero pairs and remove them from the problem, so you can cancel out zero pairs. Okay, you need to remove all zero pairs. So we're going to take a little lasso, and so let, let's look at this problem. Let's see what is being uh, modeled. So I've got one, two, three, four negatives, so negative four, and I'm adding or combining three positives plus three. So let's use the, um, the zero pairs. Okay, so these zero up and go away, these zero up and go away, these zero up and go away, and so I'm left with negative one, and that's my answer. So you have to zero pair out, and if you're doing this with the actual chips, you can actually take your fingers and move them away to see what you are left with. So let's model three plus negative four. So three is positive, so one, two, three, and negative four is one, two, three, four, and then I have to take away my zero pairs, zero pair goes away, Zero pair goes away, and zero pair goes away. And this got kind of messy, but zero pair, zero pair, zero pair, and one negative is left, negative one. And isn't it interesting that without looking at signs, four is one bigger than three, so that's gonna make a difference. So let's do negative five plus two. So negative, negative, five of these 
and two of these. And if I were using chips, these go away, these go away. So what's left? It's negative three. But I'm gonna try to use this little lasso and show that my zero pairs go away, two go away, and I'm left with negative three. So negative three. And looking at this, five is three from two. Five minus two is three, and it's negative because five is a bigger number. So here are some problems for you to do using integer chips or actually drawing it out. So I'll do the first one because you're not going to have integer chips and um, to show you. And so you have six negative, so I put negative, 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 and three positives. And these zero pair, these zero pair, these zero pair, so I'm left with negative three. So that gives you an idea of how to model with the integers. You will, okay, so then you're given a picture and say, what does this model represent? And that's it.